Hello and welcome to game three in this best of five series. I am your host, Big Blue Firebat, and we have once again spawning as the Red Terran playing for Team Dignitas Select and his opponent, DDE. I do not think he's playing for Team Six Jacks anymore. He is a free agent, but we still have DDE over here as the Blue Terran, and the map is going to be the MLG version of Shatter Temple. The actual uh, map being used is the CEVO version, but this is MLG because you can see the supply depot down here blocking off the ramp, and because of this you realize that their opponents cannot spawn at this close by ground position. Each player is going to be aware of the fact that their opponent can only spawn in two other spots on this map, which is probably going to change their build just a little bit. If you don't have to scout out three positions, you can scout a little bit later. You can get your information a little bit um, later in the game. You can set up your economy a little bit sooner, and instead of scouting at, say, 12 or 13, you can scout at maybe 14 or 15 in order to... Um, safely set up a stronger economy and a stronger early game uh, if you want to go for aggression or if you want to go right into some kind of tech. Uh, last game has been a little bit interesting for DDE. The last two, in fact. Select is up two games to none right now, and DDE is going to have to pull some tricks out of his hat or else he's going to be completely knocked out in this playoff uh, round for the GeForce Pro-Am Tournament. He is not going to want that to happen. He wants to get to the finals. He wants to at least survive this round. So he has to win this game. He has to do something tricky. He has to get some solid play in there. He has to do something in order to get through and move on to game four. And we'll see what Select is up to. For his part, all he really has to do is keep doing what he has been doing, which is responding well, which is playing a solid game. In game one, his siege tanks and his blue flame hellions and his marines did very well against DDE's more traditional siege tank, marine, medevac, and viking. Very impressive play back and forth. And game two was the perfect response from Select with the Banshees having scattered out the early Reapers from DDE. And we're just going to see what we have going on this time around. Uh, for those of you not familiar with it, uh, Shattered Temple is the child of Lost Temple, which was the original map in this pool based on this design. Lost Temple, however, had two watchtowers in the center of the map and it had island expansion. Shattered Temple has these rocks with ramps for expansions and a single watchtower in the center of the map. I like the design of Shattered Temple. I didn't like it at first. It actually has a larger natural section you have to defend, but now that I'm getting used to the entire thing, it has definitely been a, a very nice map to play. Very interesting, and we have Select going for his factory into barracks with a tech lab going down. Still could be any kind of build. Not sure what's going to happen quite yet. We have a Marine chasing Select's, S chasing, um, Select's SCV away, and it looks like this Marine has taken out DDE's SCV, and DDE also going for a barracks. They are moving at about the same time here. And we have Reapers going down for Select. We have Nitro Packs going down. This is very interesting. Nitro Pack, the research used to be um, as soon as you got the tech lab, but it has moved into requiring a factory, which kind of limits it, limited its use right off the bat. A lot of players have decried, hey, Nitro Packs are useless. No one's going to use Speed Reapers anymore. But Select is proving them wrong. He's getting at least one Reaper out. And this is interesting here. Just using it as SCVs, scouting around here, making sure that there are no bunkers, no even scouting SCVs hanging out in the back here, waiting to run in here. He wants this to be a complete surprise. And this has been very similar to what DDE did to him in the last game. And we'll see how it works for Select. DDE, for his part, is going very, very standard. 1-1-1 one, one, one style of play. He even has his Hellion already out, going to scout out the Watchtower. He's going to spot the Reaper, but Reapers with their fast attack speed, are just so devastating against Hellions. But now DDE is aware of what's going to happen. He knows exactly what to do. There is only a limited amount of space that a Reaper could conceivably get into his base up along this ramp here, up along these cliffs. So he's going to put Marines all over that area. And Select is hiding his Reapers up away from this watchtower and floating this factory over. So he is completely... Uh, going to not go with mech play at all. He is completely disregarding mech play. He is not going to use it. He's going to stick with his reapers. He's going to stick with another barracks producing reapers. He is not. He's just now setting up his command center. So if his reaper press, presser, pressure fails, he will have a backup. He will be able to expand. And DDE is also setting up his command center, moving at almost the same times here. This is very, very tight on these builds, even though they are so different. And we have the factory landing up on the ramp distracting these marines and it looks like this factory is going to land and pull and create a couple of uh, 
Hellions, and I can only expect that this is a factory designed to pull these idiot Marines away from the ledges, and I'm guessing correctly. Here come these Reapers, Speed Reapers. Look at those Nitro Packs burning, 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 and they are going to jump up here. This factory is landing, taking a little bit of damage, producing a Hellion, and now the Reapers are in the base, uncontested, killing one, two, three... Four Marines going down, five Marines, all the Marines are dead. And now these Reapers, these Speed Reapers are in to the base. And there's just a Raven dropping down an auto turret, but no. First off, the auto turret takes extra damage from the Reapers' D30 charges. And the auto turret is stationary. They can just The Reapers can just run away, and they are going to town on all of these SCVs. Oh my god, all these SCVs are going to go down. They cannot defend themselves. The Reapers are so fast. And so many SCVs going down. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 SCVs have been killed. 25, this is devastating. And the SCVs are forced to run into this medevac in order to save themselves. But this is just terrible. DDE is down to five SCVs, even using the D-charges to go after this tech lab. And I don't know what he's going to be able to do to respond to this. Siege tech is going down, but this is just devastating. All the Reapers are finally taken out by this auto turret and the siege tank, but there is still a factory in the base producing Hellions, and that is it. Select has taken these games 3-4-3. Three, three. DDE was not able to compete with his macro, with his micro, and this early game, ridiculous fast reaper, awesome strategy, was able to cinch out the final win. Great game, great set. See you later.